please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What is up, Geneva? I'm Jack Hausengick. And I'm Evan Kafka. Coming up on today's show, we have a new way of voting that Jack will like because he obviously can't go through an open without having his phone on the desk. All right, Evan, well, while you're bashing me, someone didn't go to the volleyball game last night. Uh, but don't worry, we have another opportunity for her to uh, attend one. So stay tuned. We'll tell you more on that because GTV News starts right now. I'm Evan Kafka. And I'm Jack Housengay. Here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, November 6, 2013. The 2014 Skaldic is now accept accepting submissions including short stories, poetry, art, original music, and much, much more. Submissions should be sent to ghsskaldic at gmail.com. Also, if you're interested in helping create the literary magazine for GHS, then be sure to join them today and every Wednesday in room B126 after school. Two colleges will be visiting the high school tomorrow, Kendall College and Northern Michigan University. If you're interested in these schools or want to learn more, make sure to check your Naviance to find out what time they'll be visiting and to sign up. Last week, a band called The Project visited us coming to GHS all the way from Brooklyn, New York. GTV reporter Madeline Happold got a behind the scenes look as to how this band impacted the music community in Geneva. The previous week, Geneva music students had a guest appearance from a group that took the students from the audience to center stage. Uh, we are the Project Trio. Uh, I play the flute, Eric plays the cello, Peter plays the bass. We've traveled the world educating and performing. During their visit to Geneva, music students were able to learn some tips from the professionals. You know, music education is probably one of the most important things um, that musicians can do today. Introducing people to classical music, to jazz music, to instrumental music is really important to make sure that the, uh, the art form thrives. Project admits music is something everyone should get into. My favorite part about having them was uh, them coming in, talking to us, uh, telling us how to practice and how to become a better musician. Music is a fantastic art form. Uh, it involves a huge skill set of concentration and discipline and focus. You need to work well with others. You need to practice a lot um, on your own and learn how to tackle uh, big challenges. You know, practicing makes you perfect. Uh, if you want to do something, you want to put your heart to it, keep your mind set on that goal. It's an art form that can always be made better and you can always put more creativity into it. And that's why it's important for people of all ages to be involved in music. It's so fulfilling to walk out on stage and present your, our own original music for audiences and have them get excited. The group's appearance received a lot of positive feedback from the students. It would be a great idea to have different groups also to come here to help out the music program so they can uh, expand their education. You, know, you get different voices uh, talking to you rather than just hearing uh, Frederick and Maxwell talk to you all the time. The Project Trio really struck a chord with Geneva music students. For GTV News, I'm Madeline Happold. Student Council here at Geneva does an outstanding job planning everything from dances to service opportunities. GTV reporter Leah Thompson is here with a few students from Student Council to talk about upcoming events and chances to give back in the community. Thanks guys, I'm here with two members of Student Council, Madeline and Margo. Now Margo, winter is coming up, so what does that mean for Student Council? Uh, we have the Christmas walk coming up, so we have live mannequins, which will be December 6th, and you can sign up in the main office, and sign up ends this Friday, November 8th. Wow, that sounds like fun. Besides the Christmas walk, what else are you guys planning? On December 7th, the Winter Dance, which is soft, sponsored by the sophomores, is going to be coming up, and we're going to have a survey soon for themes that you guys can have, and there's going to be a Sadie Hawkins, which is more of a country theme, 
a winter formal, a winter casual, and a great Gatsby theme, which would be really fun and formal, of course. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. How can you vote for them? It's going to be a texting survey this Thursday and Friday, and we'll have posters all up around the school in the lunchroom, and it'll tell you how you can do that. All right, well, guys, make sure you vote so you can have the type of dance you want December 7th, and also be sure to volunteer as a mannequin if you need some volunteer hours. Back to the desk. All right, thanks, Leah and uh, Evan. The Christmas vlog is always a fun time. Every year it gets better and better, so I can't wait till it comes up this year. Yeah, definitely. And you know, Jack, I think you might be able to pull off being a mannequin. A mannequin? You really, you really think so? Yeah. Uh, forget I said that. Right. Well, if being a mannequin isn't your thing, but playing soccer is, all girls interested in playing soccer this fall should be sure to attend the last open gym of the season. It will be tomorrow after school at Burgess Field from 3 to 4 p.m. Coach Owens hopes to see everyone there. Congratulations to the girls varsity volleyball team who beat Glenbard West in the sectional semifinal last night, dominating in two straight games, 25 to 20 and 25 to 21. The girls were led by Kelsey Wazinski's 20 digs and Courtney Caruso's 17 assists. They will be taking on St. Charles North for the sectional championship right here in the contest gym tomorrow night. Everyone come out and support the girls. And here's three to know before we go. If you see one of the volleyball girls today, be sure to congratulate them on, an, on their awesome victory last night. As the student council <laughs> members mentioned, start thinking about what dance you want to vote for tomorrow and Friday. And start submitting your submissions to the GHS Skull. Like I know Mrs. Peters loves all those submissions. That's, that is, all. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Evan Kafka. And I'm Jack Housegate. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Geneva.